Hello, uh, my name is Farash Tiyak. I'm a scientist at Tata Institute for Genetics and Society. We lead the environmental surveillance program for SARS-CoV-2 and other infectious diseases in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to give a brief overview of how wastewater sampling and genomic surveillance can help us understand the diversity and distribution of infectious agents in our environment. Wastewater-based epidemiology is a population-wide monitoring tool, and it can be used for pathogens that can be excreted via human waste and can be found in sewage network. Wastewater monitoring has been used for a long time for monitoring many enteric pathogens, especially polio, and more recently, wastewater monitoring has been used as a complementary tool to track the rise and fall in COVID-19 cases. We have been combining it with genomic surveillance, which forms the backbone of monitoring for SARS-CoV-2 pandemic. So unlike clinical samples, wastewater-based monitoring collects sequence data at the community level, which actually represents the population. So when you sequence these samples, you capture abundance and diversity of lineages circulating in the, at the community level. And these data can be analyzed in any ways. So for example, wastewater genomic surveillance helps to gain insights in how the virus populations are changing, how the virus is evolving. And most detection of SARS-CoV in wastewater was have been used to correlate with the COVID-19 incidence data. But we have been combining it to understand what exactly is driving this rise in cases. So for example, here you see in this figure that you see a spike in cases going up here, which has been a real concern for the city very recently. But when we look at our data, we see a huge combination of PA2 sublineages in suddenly appearing in the community, community level, and which was which helped us to understand there is not a new variant of concern in the population, but it's just a mix of lineages which is causing a spike in the viral load. And when we compare this data with the uh, clinical data, which has been submitted in the GZ repository, it helps us to understand how significant proportion of people are at a community are infected with certain variants in a population and shedding the virus. So basically, it allows you to um, explore the emergence of new variants that might have, have escaped the, in the clinical testing as well. And once you have this relative abundance and diversity data, you can analyze it using any kind of modeling to understand how the temporal trend is changing or, and also at a spatial level as well. These data have been really useful for us to identify the disease hotspots in the city. So for example, in our city, we have a well-defined sewage network and we know the catchment area. By plotting the viral load, we know which areas are facing a significant rise in the COVID cases. But by combining a genomic surveillance, we know what variants are causing that spike in the viral load, and it helps us in making very informed policy decisions.